Here is the microwave oven and I think I'm done with the modeling and I'm going to finish up the texturing in this video of the main body and then I'm going to bring in the texture for the back panel which I already did. Uh, next video along with the textures for this one we'll put it all together in the next video I just wanted to show you the the final modeling bits I just created these little indents okay I created a shape like this and just uh, did a boolean and beveled the edge ever so slightly so I did that and I've got just a, a single plane to represent the glass now I've gone on however and let's hide that and I've UV unwrapped this and I'll talk about that as you can see I've got I guess five UV tiles so I'm using the UDIM method and um, what I've done is I've just gone in here and I've used smart UV project there are no seams smart UV project and then packed the islands in here so I've got the main body in this one and uh, I guess that's part of it as well and the doors in there the handle is in another one and uh, this piece is in there and uh, these buttons I did this just by pressing U and unwrap that was it okay these are down there so if I look at everything this is the glass right here this piece these are those indents and the, 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 the face for the clock, we've got the parts of the handle, we've got the buttons, and the main body. So I've got five UV tiles. And now I'm going to take this and export an FBX of this into Substance Painter for texturing. Here's the model in Substance Painter. All right. And I've got a few different materials on here. I've got the body material. I've got one for glass. And labels let's see if I can show you that let's hide that I called these things those little insets all right where the where the knobs are and the screen for the clock I just called them labels so those are the materials that I've got from blender that came into substance Vader or the texture sets okay time to bake the mesh maps I'll do this at 2k uncheck ID and let it bake there's the baked model now and it's time to get to work on the texture so I'm going to start with the body and I'm going to use a smart material this is one that I've already created that I've used before this is basically a glossy plastic with a little bit of smudges on it you could start with uh, something like if I search for plastic this plastic glossy or this plastic matte and just adjust that but this is what I'm going to use here and so I've got that and now the next thing I'm going to do is I think I will switch over to the labels I'll get rid of this and we'll start working on this I'm going to add a fill layer and I'm going to add a black mask and I'm going to add a fill to that and on the grayscale, I'm going to come over to procedurals. I'm going to start taking, typing hexagon. And I want this hexagon branch. I'm going to drop that on there. I'm going to come back to the fill. And I'm not going to need normal. Uh, we'll see. I'm going to start turning that to black like that. I'm going to come back to here, to the hexagon branch. I'm going to increase the scaling. I'm going to try inverting that. And this is kind of the effect that I'm going to be going for. All right. Now I'm come back to the main part. I think I'm not going to need height. So I've got color and roughness. I'm going to drop the roughness down quite a bit. And I'm going to increase the metallic so that it's pretty shiny and it gives sort of like a um, carbon fiber kind of a look to it okay so far so good now we're going to put some text on these things here uh, let's do that right now so this is our base layer and to do the text i think i'm going to use a 
paint layer and I'll do the clock and I want an emission on the clock so I'm going to add a channel an emissive channel and I'll increase the emission a little bit and so over here I should have an emission an emissive channel I'm just going to click that and we'll get a color sort of a green color I'll start with something like that and let's see let's go over to my alphas my font and use courier um, for this and just type in here something like 1205 I'll switch to orthographic and snap to a front view like that and we can try post effects try glare and bloom and I have something like that on there okay now so this is a uh, time let's say and I'll do a few more here I'm going to do another paint layer but for this one let's just let's not use that let's use color uh, I think just color and not emission and it's going to be essentially white or a little bit off-white okay and I'm going to use um, I think let's see I don't think I'm going to use that font let's try that so let's try typing in something like low should probably start with the biggest one and get the size so uh, medium medium low or medium high let's get that in there yeah let's try bold And actually, let's do this. Okay. And then let's change that to medium. Low. High. We'll type in defrost. Okay, so I have those in there. And those are the main things that I want on this labels. Let's come back to the body and put a little bit of alpha work on here as well. So let's do that and let's use color and height let's use dark and drop the eye just a little bit I'll stick with this font and I'll type start and maybe over here I'll have I'll type something like RCA it's not in the correct font for RCA but we'll just we'll just do that to get a sense all right let's go back into perspective view and we're going to need some dirt on here that will help our what we're seeing here so this is going to be um i'll just call this alpha uh, usually i call it that if i have some indents and stuff like that but i just have text all right but anyways let's move on with a fill layer color and roughness we're going to do dirt so the roughness all the way up and the color sort of a dark brown and a black mask and we we'll use the generator the dirt generator and then we'll pull that back so we get some dirt on the surface and underneath it now if I pull that back I'll get more so I'll do it like that now that's going to go on the inside as well so 
let's come back here like this so it's a little bit just a little bit dirty and that 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 helps for sort of an ambient occlusion kind of look okay I can leave that like that for the moment and um, what I'll do is I'll link the alpha to the dirt layer it probably won't make that much of an effect but I will still add an anchor point here and in the dirt I've done this many times I will activate that and come down here select that and switch that to height they probably won't end up getting anything but uh it uh it's there okay so we have that and that's pretty much what i wanted to do for the body and then the glass let's come over to the glass layer and get rid of that now i want to have some opacity and so i'm going to have to switch my shader to pbr metal rough with alpha blending and I'm going to have to add an opacity channel here and that's what I need and now on the glass texture set I said layer probably texture set I'm going to come to my smart materials I'm going to type glass and this glass dirty is what I want to use it's probably when I download it from substance share I don't think it comes with substance painter but I mean you could use any of the glasses you could build up your own glass or you could try to find this one and I kind of like it just as it is. All right, put some dirt around the edges and you can see through. You can, of course, go in here and, and adjust all that. But I think I'm gonna go with that. But I, I want that kind of carbon fiber. So I'm gonna add a fill layer with a black mask. And in the fill, I'm only going to use, I think, metal and roughness a little bit. Bring that down a bit and we'll see how much me metallic I want to use here uh, but I'm going to add a fill layer and in the grayscale I am once again going to use that hexagon branch I'm going to drop that in there increase the tiling this is the kind of look that I want to get you know when you look through that I'll try inverting it well, I think I like it like that and I just want some kind of a pattern on there that you would see through the glass. And then back over here, let's, let's just try a color. Let's just see if I like this. Yeah, that's, that's not bad. Changing that like that. Let's just see. I have a feeling if I do the metallic, I'll start to lose it. It's going okay, actually, like that. So it's not overly visible, but it's, but it's there. I'll tile it some more. All right, now at this point, I think I've done what I want to do. All right, and so what I'm gonna do now is increase the resolution, bring it up to 2K there. I'll uh, add anti-aliasing. The glass, I don't think it really needs to go up. I'll, I will increase the resolution on the labels though. Okay, let's have a look at that. Let's make sure that I'm in perspective, which I am. And that is it without the back, all right? And even without the back, that looks convincing enough, I think, as a, as a microwave, a bit of a dirty microwave. And then you could experiment with different HDRIs and see if you like the looks. That's a little bit easier to look at. And that gives it it's a little bit more beige. And that's nice as well. Okay, you could put legs on this or do whatever. So that is my microwave oven. What I'll do in the next video is I will bring the back panel 
and all of these textures into Blender, and I'll put them together for you, and we'll have one more look. All right, so hope to see you then. Take care.